Pastor Dave here. Uh, the recent horrible events in Israel have uh, focused my mind there, my thoughts there. And we are told in the scriptures to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We're told to do it, so let's make sure we are doing it. I want to read to you uh, out of the book of Luke, 13th chapter, uh, verses 34 and 35. At this time, Jesus is, he's been preaching in the small villages out in the countryside, but he's turned now towards Jerusalem. He's going toward Jerusalem. And he stops and he says, verse beginning with verse 34, O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. But you were not willing. Look, your house is left to you desolate. I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Uh, Jesus saw the destruction of Jerusalem just a few years later, and it broke his heart. So praying for the peace of Jerusalem is praying like the words of God's own heart. So why do we pray for the peace of Jerusalem? If we know from Christ's words and other Old Testament prophets that there will be no peace of Jerusalem until Christ returns at the end of the age. Included in my prayers for the Jews in Jerusalem is that they become believers in Christ as their Savior. So that they will have peace with God as well as the peace of God. And being now part of the church, uh, escape the terrible time of persecution of the Jews at the end of the age by being raptured with the rest of the church. So, as I said before, there will be no peace in Jerusalem until Christ returns at the end of the age. So praying for the peace of Jerusalem is, in effect, praying for Christ to return. The book of Revelation, uh, chapter 22, verse 20, ends, the book ends with Christ saying, Yes, I am coming soon. And then it lists the response of his people in that same verse. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. So uh, we're looking forward to the peace of coming to Jerusalem. And that will occur when Jesus returns to this earth. Well, I hope that's given us something to think about. And may the Lord, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit.